Hi, my name is Henrik and I'm here to tell you all today why one word is all I needed for my year abroad. I came from Paderborn, a city right in the middle of Germany, and since I was little, I wanted to live a year abroad. So in 2008, 2009, I went to Argentina, and the one advice that stuck with me was, say yes. That's the easiest way to make friends. So I packed all my things, went on a plane to Argentina, and there I was, right in the middle of Patagonia, and my journey began. And let me illustrate what that little word can do if I describe my first few days. Picking me up, my horse parents saw a big bag with my trumpet. So I said yes to joining a band. They asked me if I like cars. So I said yes. And we went to see a professional rally, the Vuelta de la Manzana. My host brother asked me if I wanted to meet some people. So I said yes and went to him to a party where all my friends and I was in a class with. And that was just the first two days. And, and for the next part, you have to imagine me, I was 20 pounds, I mean 10 kilos lighter at that point. At that party, a guy, come up, a guy came up to me and was, do you want to play rugby? Kind of scared, but with enthusiasm, I said, yes. <laughs> and that was the best decision of my life. I went on to find the best friends I could have ever imagined finding. Um, and there's no better way to find friends abroad than through activities. The moment you show interest in your host country's culture, they welcome you with open arms. My host dad teaching me how to make the best asado, I mean barbecue for, for all the others in the world, and giving me the plans to build my own grill. Long nights playing canasta with my host grandma of the second family or learning how to serve the perfect mate with my third family. These are all the moments I look back to when I think of my second home. This saying yes mentality brought me so many good experiences. Joining a local interact club, traveling the country, volunteering within a school project to teach English in the poor parts of the town. It is natural to be skeptical of new experiences because they are different from experiences at home. But if you're willing to consider all the opportunities that await you, saying yes can lead to amazing experiences. Imagine, host parents and local Rotarians have been living in that country long enough to know what's interesting and worthwhile. And this is the message I want to pass on to all of you. Be open, invite exchange students to take part in activities. There's nothing worse than an exchange student that goes back home and says, Rotary is boring, that country is boring. And as you can imagine, that year left me wanting for more. I joined Rotex, organizing tours and weekends for exchange students in Germany ending up being president of Rotex in our district and still wanting more. So in 2013, I joined Rotaract. And with the same passion of saying yes in Argentina, I said yes in Rotaract. I served as a club president, as a assistant Rotaract representative, and currently I'm serving as the president of Rotaract Germany MDIO the multi-district information organization for road tractors in Germany. But more than titles, what we do is most important. Organizing one of the biggest events for road tractors and Rotarians in the world. Motivate all German road tractors to build more than 2,000 bee houses to, um, and plant bee meadows to support the local bee population. Um, which has a direct impact on the health of our local environment. Once we all are passionate about Rotary and see how it changes us, shows possibilities for development, and we get engaged and become those people of action we always talk about. And that's why I tell everybody to say yes to Rotary. Be a Rotary exchange student. Take, take the chance to become a better version of yourself 
to be part of a family, not only a host family, but the biggest family there is, the family of Rotary.